Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be following up from our photo shoot that I did, showing you guys how I take pictures for Instagram. And so now I'm gonna show you guys how I edit those photos for Instagram uh, using Lightroom Classic. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so this is the first edit. We're gonna go from this photo to this edit. So I'm gonna show you guys how I get there. So first off, I'm gonna start with probably adjusting these tones right here or these sliders so exposure will probably just leave probably leave the exposure and bring down the contrast so we can get a little more of the shadows out bring back some of the car so i think i'll do that highlights i think i want to add Add a bit of highlights, three again. Shadows, I'm gonna leave alone. Uh, sometimes I'll adjust the shadows for the main picture, but usually I'll just go in with a uh, radial filter, which I'll do. Yeah, so the whites are probably gonna bring down a touch because we brought up the highlights, so I kinda wanna take some of the whites out. And then blacks will probably raise so we can get a little bit more detail of the blacks and the shadows. And then clarity, texture, dehaze, we'll leave alone for the whole picture. And then vibrance, definitely. I'm gonna bump this up a little bit so we get those colors to pop. But, so this is a little technique that I like to use is uh, hitting up the vibrance a lot, but then also bringing down saturation a little bit. So that kind of like helps to ease some of the vibrance so it's not super in your face, but that's just a little technique. Before I color grade, we're gonna go ahead and fix up this image a little bit because it's crooked. I kind of want the car to be straight or a bit more straight, so probably like that. And then once we cropped it, that also took out this little blemish down here. Uh, so then now we'll go ahead and do some color grading. So I like to start off with the white balance. Um, you can use these like custom presets, which I think I will use. We'll do shade because we're kind of in the shade. So that brought up a little more orangey tone. And then for color grading, see we can do so much with color grading, but you can get too carried away for sure. So I just want to keep it simple. I already had my settings on this, like a hue of 110 and saturation like seven. So like super subtle on the midtones. We just want to bring a little more green into it. And then for the shadows, so it's again a little more greenish yellow. And the highlights, this is really what's going to you know, make the background of the image pop in like the sky. So this will do hue of 49, saturation 53. So that's more of like a yellowish orange and with a lot of saturation, it really um, makes the highlights like stand out and like pop. So that looks really cool. So we'll go ahead and keep that. And then these metrics down here for like the details, this is actually really good for when you go to export the photo, um, especially to your phone, to a JPEG for Instagram. Uh, this will definitely make the image a little bit sharper. So I like to bump this up to 50 and put masking to about 40. And what that does is the masking will make it so that the sharpening more so affects, you know, like the hard lines as opposed to like the whole entire image. So that helps to make the image like overall more sharp because we just are getting the lines sharper, if that makes sense. We'll bump up the noise reduction too, just because we're gonna be exporting it. So that's 25. And then I always click this to remove chromatic aberration, just in case. I mean, I never really noticed a difference, but <laughs> I guess chromatic aberration is like blue, purple, um, kind of like hue that might come off of the car or like colors that uh, the camera didn't quite pick up good enough. After that, we'll go ahead and do our radial filters. 
So this is like the final touch. And uh, what I probably use most on all my car photos just because it's such an advantage being able to only edit uh, what's outside the car or just the car in general. So we can hit O to see what we're getting affected. And so I just want everything but the car like that, like that. Okay, and then so highlights are up. Take those back down. So I like to bring down the exposure around the car because it really just draws attention to the car, which is the subject of the photo. And yeah, it just makes it pop more. And bring down the exposure will also enhance the sky a little bit too. And then also dehaze. If you bump up the dehaze a little bit, that'll also like make the background a little darker and make it pop a little more. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll go ahead and bring down the sharpness. That just helps add to like the, the blurry background and draw more focus to the car. So I like how that's sitting, uh, that works. And then I also wanna bring out more detail in the sky. So I'll use a gradient filter. Come down just a little bit more. Bring the exposure down a bit. See that's like really making the sky uh, pop a bit more, you know, more details. Boom. Yeah, so that's how you get that nice glow in the sky. And then we'll do a radio filter on the car because I don't like how dark it is right here, especially in like the front of the bumper. So I'm just gonna kinda do filter like that. And then I'll zoom in. I'll show you guys this technique too. So within a filter, whether it be a radial filter or a gradient filter, you can use this range mask. So we'll go ahead and select color. And we'll also wanna invert it because at the moment that is our selection. So we'll invert it so that we only get the front bumper. And then we'll use this eyedropper here, color dropper to select this color in the paint. So we'll do one there. And then one there. Oh, well you gotta press shift to do multiple. So there, that, that kind of brings um, more of the selection to just the car. And we got a little bit there so we can put this eyedropper tool back and bring it in a little bit more. There we go. And so now we mainly got like the front bumper of the car selected. We want to bring out some of the shadows. All right, so I'm going to bump up the contrast on the car a little bit. Let me go up to like 34, just because we bumped down the contrast on the whole image. So we'll kind of make that color pop a little bit more. And then I'm going to bump up my shadows in the car to like, uh, I really want to bring them out. So we'll go up over 50. So that does the trick, but then as you can see, it's like blown out, kind of like grayish. So we'll go ahead and lower the exposure a little bit. Let's see, minus point six five. So I think that'll do it. Um, we'll go a little bit more. So there we go, that kind of offsets uh, bringing out the shadows. And boom. I think that's pretty good. That's how it's pretty close to my edit originally. So yeah, that's the first photo. Let's uh, pick another one. Edit one of my favorite photos from the session. And it really doesn't need much editing at all in my opinion. So it's just gonna be a subtle edit, but we're gonna go from this, how it looks right now, to a bit more enhanced, a bit more attention drawn to the car. Uh, so let's get to that. So starting off, definitely need to center this image a bit more. 
We'll adjust it slightly right there. And then what I like to use as a marker is like the headlights. And so as you can see, it's pretty off-centered as those aren't equal. So I'll just bring this corner in until they're just about equal, like right there. And so now the car is a bit more centered. Uh, I'll just eyeball it. Leave the white balance alone. Um, I like how it's sitting right now. And we'll go ahead and bring down the contrast a little bit. Go back minus 11 or so. Um, that'll just bring out some of the shadows a tad bit. Bring down the highlights because of the lights. It'll um, make the lights, I'll show you guys, just like, it'll like thin the lights out. So as you can see, it takes off that, the brightness that's coming from the lights and makes it a little bit more defined. Shadows, I'm not gonna mess with. We'll do that separately in the radio filter. Uh, the whites, I'll bump up just a bit so we can get a, some more pop. And then blacks, I'll leave alone. Um, as you can see, too much, it gets too faded. And then less kind of makes it too vibrant, in my opinion. So I'll just leave it how it is. Keep it zeroed. And vibrance, again, bump that up. 21, and then take out some saturation so it's not too vibrant. Yeah, that's pretty much it for these uh, normal sliders. So we'll go ahead and do some radial filters on the car. Hit O, see what we're working with. Pop it down. Bring it out, that looks pretty good. We'll bring down the exposure in the background. See that just phew, makes the car pop so much more. And then we'll bump up the dehaze again. So we get that extra little oomph, that extra effect. And then we'll go ahead and, so that's pretty much it for that. And I don't really wanna blur out the background any more than it already is. So I'll go ahead and duplicate that. Uh, bring these down to zero, zero. And we'll hit invert. Show us what we're working with. We're gonna have to bring this in. So we got just the car. All right, so we'll go ahead and definitely bring up the shadows. So we'll make that like 45. Uh, and then we'll bop down the exposure a tad bit. Just to compensate for taking out the shadows. And then we'll go ahead and add a bit of clarity. I don't like to add too much because then I just see how like the reflections get super bright. So I like to add just a touch. And then a uh, nice way to balance out clarity too is lowering the texture. So we'll drop that down, not that much, but like maybe like three. So very minimal adjustments, but I think it makes a little bit of difference. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this one. That was a nice quick and easy one. So it went from uh, that to that. So I mean, I didn't do much, but I made the background darker and I brought out some of the shadows of the car and I think it looks better. But even though that looks pretty good, <laughs> it's tough, you know, it's all subjective. So whatever you're feeling, whatever style you want. So like even like how it is right now, it looks pretty dang good, but I like the car to be a little brighter and the background be a little darker so it pops more. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you guys learned something. I uh, got some insight on how I edit my photos for Instagram. I plan on doing more videos like this in the future. So let me know if you're interested in this type of content or what else you might want to see. And maybe we can do some like live edits. Uh, this one was kind of like 
premeditated. <laughs> I already edited these photos beforehand. And so I just went in and showed you guys how I did it. Basically copy the settings over. So, so yeah, we'll probably do like more live edits in the future uh, with cooler photos, cooler spots. So we'll see, we'll see. But anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like. It greatly helps out my small channel. Also hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. So you stay tuned for future content to come because we got some pretty sick mods coming up. So you don't want to miss it. All right, guys, I'm signing out. Peace.